What is up YouTube? This is John here again today from Toxic Spikes and I have another awesome Wi-Fi battle for you, another black and white battle. And this is with a guy named the Pro Poker Player, otherwise known as Jay Jirachi. Um he said he had seen my upload on Pokemash Pit Beta, which by the way will be in the link in the description below. I got one on beta and not that I want to promote the heck out of it, but I just want to let you guys know because I put a lot of work into all my videos, and so in case any of you missed it, I'd like you to see it. That'd be really cool because um, I think it was a good video. But anyways, to this battle, um, this guy likes to use some really, you know, not very used stuff. So he leads off with an Az an Absol, sorry, not Azul, and um, I lead off with my Starmie. Awful matchup. I was like, as long as he doesn't lead off with Absol, I'll be fine. But of course, he leads off with the Absol. And I was predicting the pursuit, that's why I stayed in, and I surprisingly take a Night Slash, so that tells me he's probably Scarfed, um, or Choiced in some way, either that or he's got a Focus Sash, but whatever. Um, I'm just going to be free to switch though, and I go into my Hydreigon to resist the Night Slash again, and then I'm going to U-turn out, and he goes into a Jolteon, and with my Rotom, uh, I was predicting, because he can't really do much, so I just went for the safe overheat to get damage on something, but he Toxics me. So I'm like, that's weird. And then I noticed that Overheat doesn't do crap to his Jolteon. And I'm like, what? And then he goes for the Wish. So I'm like, wow. And I will was predicting a Switch because I honestly did not think he would have Wish. So that's what I like about this guy, though. He uses a lot of original stuff, um, original pokes. And a lot of them actually work pretty well. And it makes it really tough to battle him because you do not know what he's going to do next. So um, uh, obviously my Rotom's getting out nothing accomplished and I'm predicting he's probably gonna want to go for the toxic again predicting me to switch out so I go up to my Roserod and he's gonna toxic but Roserod is part to uh, poison type poison grass typing arguably some of the best typing in the game aside from you know other type combinations like psychic steel bug steel but anyways that's aside from the point um yeah so all in all Roserod's an awesome wall but I'm just gonna go for the spikes because I know he has a lot of slow stuff on his team that wouldn't mind being paralyzed so stun sporing is just gonna be a waste of time and he goes out to his hypno so I was right and um, I know he's probably like I was thinking in the back of my mind I'm like if this guy is original enough he's probably gonna have a belly drum hypno and I would not want to let that thing set up so I go out to my Celebi knowing I can take any kind of status he might have and then I just u-turn out predicting him to switch and he goes into this thing I don't even know the name of this thing. I don't know the Japanese name, let alone the, uh, the English name. But all I know is it's dark flying and it's very bulky. So I'm going to bring in Hydreigon to taunt it because Hydreigon is my stall breaker. And of course, um, he's just going to go for the Brave Bird. That was a great plan his part. But now he cannot roost and he cannot toxic, which is good. So next turn, um, I was kind of hoping for him to switch out here, but he doesn't. But whatever, because I got a Draco Meteor off, which is going to hit him. And it's funny that this Draco Meteor hits because we actually had a battle before this where I lost um, and he missed like five Draco Meteors in a row and then like all of a sudden I hit my Draco Meteor here on like the first try which was pretty funny. So um, he's going to take me down with the Brave Bird and uh, I'm just going to go out to my Starmie here. Now obviously the Thunderbolts are the Ice Beams obvious but I want to go for the Boiling Water just in case he decides to switch. It'd be kind of an unexpected move. So, that's good, and um, now he's going to go out to his Jolteon, and I was thinking that his Jolteon, since it's so bulky, it wouldn't have enough special attack to um, one-shot me with a Thunderbolt, and since I do have max HP EVs, but unfortunately it does one-shot me, so yeah, I guess that Jolteon is just one of those pokes that even if it doesn't invest in special attack, it can still kick some serious ass. Just like um, my Starmie, my Rapid Spin Starmie, you've been seeing in my past couple of videos, you've seen it does some pretty good damage, and it doesn't have any investment whatsoever So um, in special attack, so it just goes to show you, but um, <laughs> I'm going to go out to my Roserod again, set up spikes on the switch, because I know, again, stun sporing would be kind of pointless, and now I go out to my Celebi, and he actually goes for the Zen Headbutt, so at this point I'm thinking, uh-oh, this thing's definitely some kind of physical set maybe a belly drummer i actually never see the fourth move in his set though in this battle so um you do see three of his moves though i'm not gonna spoil anything but um he goes to the thunder wave again here and i got my rocks up and that's what i and he goes to the zen headbutt so i'm like oh is this like a para flinching one but uh yeah i just go for the u-turn to get out of there and natural cure is gonna heal my paralysis so that's why i'm switching Celebi in. and then i go out to quagsire he cannot thunder wave me 
Um, I know he doesn't have Toxic at this point. He can't, he, he can't really hit me with that Zen Headbutt very hard, and I doubt he has anything else that can hit me harder. So now he's going to go out to his thing called Bulky Water, and I made a nice prediction. Get the Toxic off. Unfortunately, it's not really a Bulky Water. It's just a Weather Counter Gold Duck with uh, Cloud 9 ability, but whatever. Um, I'm just going to switch out to my Roserod because I know this thing is probably packing um, like Hydro Pump or something. But he actually goes for the Ice Beam, predicting my switch into Roserod. So props to him on that. And Roserod actually doesn't take too much from it because, as you know, she's very specially... Oh, it's actually a he. Wow, I have some seven to do. But, um, yeah, Roserod just looks like a girl to me. So, I mean, um... It's funny, because I always do my Pokemon genders, like, I don't do it, like, some people just set it to all male, all female, I actually try and kind of make it, like, what they look like, like, to me, honestly, like, Golduck looks like a guy, so I always make my Golducks guys, but, you know, <laughs> whatever, that's getting off, uh, track here, I go out to my, um, Rotom Heat, predicting the, um, Ice Beam again, which he does, and then I go out to my Rose Rod, and he goes for the Psychic, which is an odd move to carry, but Psychic moves have become a little more common in this gen because of Robishin and uh, other fighting types, you know. I'm um, not saying other fighting types have really gotten any bigger, but I mean, well actually no, that's not true, Blaziken has, and um, he goes back out to his Absol here, there's really nothing I can do, I don't have a great switch at this point, so I'm just gonna stand, take the Night Slash and die, but Roserade did his job this battle, and uh, I'm gonna go out to Quagsire, and unless he gets a crit, even if he gets a crit, I know I can live it, so he's done, and I just boiling water him, so, because uh, it looks really cool. But, um, yeah, so his Absol goes down, and at this point, he's pretty much just telling me good game, because he does not have anything for this Quagsire. But, um, and on top of that, he's getting hammered by the switches, because he's dealing with two layers of spikes and, um, stealth rocks, and he does not have a rapid spinner. But, um, and I hate to spoil the ending of the battle for you guys, but I mean, at this point, yeah. But I would like kind of, I'd like to make kind of some announcements at the end of this video, set aside some time for that. Because, honestly, the rest of the video is just, um, well, my Rotom H makes a few good plays, and then Quagsire pretty much just cleans up. But, um, yeah, so for one thing, I would like to thank all of you. My subscribers have gone up substantially, um... I just broke 200 a couple days ago, and within days, I'm almost breaking 230. So, that's amazing. And I'm also, um, as you notice, this is like my first um, full-length battle I've had in a while. Like, a lot of my other battles have been kind of short lately, so I'm glad I kind of got up one that's pretty long. And on top of that, this is a great battle because it was so interesting. Oh, and that was just lols there because he, um, I burned his Hypno and he was hitting with a non-stab, not very effective, uh, fire punch at half attack. And you just, uh, look at how much that Zen Headbutt did. Nothing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this is kind of my, I've been working on my team lately. Switched out my champ for Celebi because I like to be able to get the rocks up. And Celebi does a great job. And as I said, Celebi can fit many different team roles. Special attacker, it can be a scout with U-turn. And it's just very versatile. So, um, yeah, Quagsire, I always have on, like, all my teams, too. Quagsire has become my new favorite Pokemon of 5th gen. It's official. Like, at first, I was thinking, like, Azumarill's gonna be huge, but no. In my opinion, it's been Quagsire. But, um, anyways, uh, another announcement I would like to make, um, jeez, I'm forgetting all my announcements I wanted to make. Uh, yeah, I already went over the 200 sub stuff, um, thank all of you guys for subscribing um, and also I probably have some new um, subscribers here from PMP beta that is uh, a great channel you know go check that out and um, go check this guy out he's a really cool battler and um, hope hoping to bring you some more battles against him in the future and yeah that's about it um, Quagsire is just gonna finish here unless he gets some crazy luck streak where he gets lots of crits and yeah but that's not happening so good game Jay Jirachi and, um, yeah, so I guess all that is is, um, it's going to leave me for my question of the day. And my question of the day today is, what was your first game system that you had ever gotten as a kid, and what was your favorite game to play on it? Um, well, technically my first game system was, um, or my answer is my first game system was technically a Game Boy, but I didn't play it that much, actually, surprisingly. 
Um, my first real game system that I ever played a lot was the PlayStation 1, and I used to love to play Oddworld. It was a great underrated series, and unfortunately they um, stopped making it, and I don't know what they're going to do with that series. But anyways, that's my question of the day to you guys, so leave a comment below answering that, and um, remember to rate and comment subscribe, and I will see you next time, guys. Uh, peace.